sometimes we may lose sight of things especially when we come out of a relationship but there is so much we should be thankful for and it goes way past the holidays the turkey the pumpkin spice latte season how about being thankful for this for surviving a breakup you know for for having enough courage and strength to make a really big change in your life for enduring a bad circumstance or a not great relationship the thing is that we don't give ourselves enough credit because we see behind the scenes and we know what goes on inside our heads but we're rock stars and we've got this so we should be thankful for being ourselves and for having the balls to do this hi I'm Maite and I'm the author of the book Sortera Sometimes when things don't work out, they actually end up working out for the best. I welcome you and your friends to my world of Soltera. This is our time. I think beyond all that, we need to be thankful for the people who have supported us and listen to us day in and day out through this whole thing you know and hope that one day you'll be able to pay it forward like I am right now and I'm very happy about that yes you have to be thankful for the usual for your family your friends for your mentors for those people who you see every day every morning at Starbucks at Panera at your office building a friendly face your co-workers but most importantly than anything, I think that you should share your gratitude, that you should tell people how thankful you are to them because that's what's going to make a difference in their lives. Be thankful, but show it. Say it. That's my recommendation. I know it's probably a little bit early for this one, but I wanted to address it way before the fact because holidays and firsts are a big one. At least they were a big one for me. You know, and it's one of those that kind of creeps up on you from out of nowhere and it hits you like a ton of bricks. The holidays can stir up a lot of emotions in people and they're not always good ones. So what I found was good was to find a soft spot to land on. And for me, my soft spot was starting new traditions. You know, I'm Cuban and we Cubans celebrate Noche Buena, which is Christmas Eve. What we implemented in our family was a holiday brunch that kind of gives way for two celebrations in one day for our family to have the opportunity to spend time with each other on both sides. Hey guys, I'm sure you figured it out by now, but holidays and firsts really suck. But you can't get around it. At the end of the day, the holidays are about family. So when something like this happens, a divorce or a separation, it kind of changes the family dynamic but even if you spend time with your family all the time or you only see them occasionally at the end of the day they are your family and they are and will forever be the most important thing in your life no matter what remember though that family is inherited but friends are chosen so what I do is once the festivities are over and I'm back home I eat solida and lonely and stuff I become a social butterfly. I grab my social media and I start sending happy holiday messages to everybody. I mean, people from school, people I haven't talked to for years. And it's worked for me. I've actually picked up and rekindled friends from a while and I speak to them regularly and now they're a part of my life again. So, I don't know. You could try different things. That won't work for me tremendously. So, give it a shot. Okay guys, so this is an easy one and it's not. I could sit here and talk to you about all the things that you should do for the new year, all the regular ones like lose weight, exercise more, you know, go for your goal, but instead I'm going to share with you what my resolution is for the next year, nonetheless the next decade. Okay, I want to be more mindful of the moment that I am having. You know, let me explain what that means. 2019 was a really big year for me. I finished my book. I bought a house, I've done so many good things. I've had regrets, but I'll never stop trying on those. But from the good things, I mean, you have to sometimes sit down and enjoy the moment. We're going so fast 
that we're not enjoying the things that we've done, our success, you know, you gotta grab a coffee, sit down, look around you, and kind of like experience your experience. I don't know, I wanna do that. And it's really hard for me because my mind goes a mile a minute and so does my mouth. So if I can do it, little spurts at a time, you can do it too. Enjoy the moment, you know, enjoy the year, enjoy the next decade. That's my recommendation to you. Hey guys, so if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you really soon.